December 11th, Friday, and I woke up in pain. My neck is hurting like crazy. But it's like 9. I have an appointment soon, and then I have work. Um, but yeah, I'm just doing my hair. I don't think I'm going to do my makeup yet because... Just don't feel like it but jesus christ y'all my neck hurts so bad like i'm complaining i don't i don't care i'm complaining but i'm doing my hair i wanted to do it in a slick back ponytail like i've been doing it's like the easiest for me and i think it like gives me a nice kind of clean look without doing too much if that makes sense i really love like a slick look like a nice slick ponytail i'm using my eco starter gel it's like this huge one. It's the olive oil. I like the argan oil too, but I normally get the olive oil. I stick to what I know. I put some of the gel on the little baby hairs. I'm sure I've, I think I did a tutorial on this months ago. My hair has grown now since then, so. I'll have to do a hair growth update actually. Cause I've been using the Mar Miracle Grow. I'm not using it as much as I did at first. But I'm still using it sometimes, so I have to give an update on that to show you yeah, but like, you know, how it's going. I have to go grab a ponytail. Okay, boom, here we are. <sighs> here. Yeah, oh my god, that hurts to turn my neck. Wow, okay. Not me complaining. I don't feel like doing my makeup yet, but um, I'm gonna show you guys when I do. Put on my deodorant to smell good. I really like my outfit today. I put it together yesterday and I was like, huh, not bad. I didn't know what to do with these pants. Don't think I did a bad job. Lip gloss for these lips. I'm gonna use my Elevated Rain lip gloss. It's this one. It has hot pink, a uh, cute gold, and then like a sparkly purple with some cute glitter. Use my code Nikki twenty for money off. It's just like how hydrating it can be, but like not sticky at the same time. And I also like how it didn't completely come off as like hot pink. Like it gave me a hint of pink, but nothing like crazy because. I think I do crazy with like hot pink lip, lip gloss on right now. Yeah, a really cute makeup look would have been cute, but I'm not. She's not doing that right now. I'm so sorry about that. But yeah, this is me. We're wearing all white right now, literally. And then I'm going to switch to all black. So like we love, we love the switch up. You feel me? But yeah. The outfit I was talking about. These are from Fashion Nova. This is from Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Like, it's just such a perfect outfit together. I think today, when I get back from my appointment, um, I'm gonna show y'all my mini vinyl collection, which y'all could see behind me. But um, I really wanted to do a little video on that because I want to track my progress because I plan on getting more and more vinyls because I love them. So as well as a record player. So I'm definitely gonna show you guys that, probably today, hopefully today, if I get to it. If not, it'll definitely be in one of these vlogs, but yeah, I love them. They're so cute. Those are like positive notes that you see and then paint that I'm trying to like match to my wall. So don't mind that, but like, and I'm gonna add the two CDs cause I love them. But anyways, y'all will see that later on in this vlog, hopefully. You heard her? Yeah. I think she's barking for me. Don't tell nobody I'm telling others. I think I lost my camera. Now hear me out. 
And you're like, how could you lose something so big? I have no idea. Now, oh crap, sorry, my neck. Obvious, and I have I have this scarf on by the way because I'm trying to keep my neck warm so like the pain doesn't get worse. I obviously don't think I like really really lost it like it's just misplaced but like how do you misplace something so big? So these vlogs are on my phone. Oh my god, is my mic being covered? So um, y'all are seeing a different quality. That's why I have like I legit have no idea. And I can't, if I mention it, my mom's going to be like, Mary. But it has to be in the house somewhere, you know? Like, I have my SD card and, like, the, um, what is it called? This thing to go into my computer, but I just no camera, so. Here we are, but I have two more gifts to wrap. Um, something for my friend and then something for my dad but the one for my dad is downstairs hidden and i low-key forgot about it until now because my mom hid it so well so like shout out to you mamas but we're gonna finish wrapping right now i got this cute bag from oh my god i can't i need to stop moving my neck the way i do it hurts big lots so we're gonna just put her in okay and um Boom. These bags are so cute, but it's annoying to stick like um, tags on them. But then I realized there's a side that doesn't have the sparkle for a reason, Nikki. So we're learning things. You know what I'm saying? Which one should I use? I think I'm gonna go with this one. Put it in the upper right hand corner. Corner. I can't find a pen. I wonder if writing in a dry erase marker will do anything for me. Whatever. Anyway, so that's one gift finished. Kalani, this is your gift. But you don't know what it is. <laughs> but yeah, y'all are going to see me. I'm going to get ready. And that's going to be that today i look like, like a, a mess like this is insane oh my god but i'm gonna chill for a bit so i started putting clothes in as you guys can see behind me and i think it looks so good um obviously i'm not finished i have shoes on top and i decided to put like the um bins on the bottom here um, that those are my work clothes, but I have them color coded. It goes from black, blue, green, brown, gray to like orange, red, pink, yellow, white, something like that. Um, and it's crazy because I still have a whole bunch of space on the bottom. Now, obviously, these aren't all my clothes, um, and I'm going through my clothes like as I'm um, putting it together. I'm really happy with it. I feel so like luxurious and like, yeah, I'm so happy about it. So yeah, but I'm going to relax for a little. I'm really going to try and get rid of this pain. I already took Advil, but like, this is insane. Um, I'm going to show you guys lunch, of course, and everything. And every day is kind of like the same thing, but different day. But we're going to try to make it interesting. Yeah, so I will see you guys in a bit. I'm taking off this scarf for this part because... <sighs> okay. So as you see behind me, I have a few vinyls. Now I'm very new to my vinyl collection um, and I'm, I'm working on adding more. And as the years go on, I will add more. And eventually when I have my own place, I'm gonna have a record player to be able to play these vinyls out. But I wanted to do a haul on them because I really do love them. And it's not like these are just any vinyls, you know, these are artists that I really love and um, projects that I really, really enjoyed. So let's just get into it. So the first one I'm gonna go with the Alina Baraz, The Color of You love this album this was her debut album i had listened to her from when she collabed with gail mattis um way back when and you know she was popping for the song fantasy and i was just very interested in her and when i listened to this project i fell in love. um and i just loved it this was 2018 and i fell in love with elena barraz all over again as an artist and i was very proud to call myself um a fan uh, I have to say my favorite song from it, I think is, let me think about it. I don't even know why though. And even the sample of that, if you know, you know, 
but I also really did love the cover art of it and then even getting the vinyl noticing that it's a clear vinyl so beautiful um so I really wanted to get it because this project just meant a lot to me especially in that time of my life like I was just like you know I was kind of going through it and like that album like I just I was discovering like different types of music and I just really fell in love the next album or vinyl that I have I'm gonna talk about is Sweetener y'all should know Ariana Grande is my favorite artist and I've wanted to collect her vinyls for a really long time um so my best friend Kamani he got me the Sweetener vinyl shout out to you but Sweetener was such an amazing project I remember um I was in the little like party thing that she had like on her website like we had to pay like 12 bucks I was there and um I loved this album produced mainly produced by Pharrell I loved it I love like almost the homage to the 2000 early 2000s pop because that is like where my heart is like R&B but also like early pop just love it so much and I love how she even sprinkled a little bit of R&B in there you know and she had fun with the album I really really appreciated this project I feel like Ariana Grande's music in general just always like helps me and whatever it's like she drops stuff when I need it and I'm like girl how do you know me like can we be friends oh my neck but Sweetener was like such a great project I listened to it every single day so I was so happy to even get this as a gift from my friend because I I love that album. The next vinyl that you have that I that you see is also from my friend Kavani. Um it is the Thank You Next single. Fell in love with it, loved how raw and authentic it was, and I also love the album Thank You Next, but when the single came out, he right away ordered me the vinyl and I'm more than grateful for that. But Thank You Next is a special song and it's almost like a song that can make you cry but it makes you smile when you cry because you realize like you know it's just literally how the song progresses like through tragic and tragedy and like things get better and like I've had my own like we all have our own personal struggles and so I can relate to that song in a way so the fact that I even have the song, single in general as a vinyl is really really special to me and I'm super grateful. I'm also going to talk about the CDs so the first one up top the white one you can't see but it's Miley Cyrus Bangers. 2013 what a time the song drive please like my favorite song like ever like so amazing i love the project i love how raw it was um and i, I have a thing for artists who are very just raw and authentic in the music and i think that's what i really love about the bangers album and then the uh cd below you see is the Aaliyah album Aaliyah, if you guys don't know as well is one of my favorite artists of all time just such a talented beautiful woman i did her um try again music video makeup this past halloween and um you know i've just been inspired by her since i was little my sister introduced me to her music and i was just always inspired i always loved it i loved her vibe um and i i was really happy that i was able to receive this as a gift um the cd because it i just love it and it inspires me so much the i don't know what it's called but you know you take it out of the front of the cd and then it has like pages of like the songs and stuff all of those looks inspire me so much every single day i have it hung up on my um bulletin in my room um but i really just really love Ali as an artist and i always will so that was really special to me and i think my favorite vinyl that i have is up top i was i'm gonna you guys are gonna see how i'm doing this um is my j cole 2014 forest hills drive vinyl j cole is my favorite rapper i love him um i think that this was one of his most raw projects because he just talked about the ville and where he grew up um you know over there and it was crazy because i i didn't grow up in fayetteville but i had family there and I, we would go and visit a decent amount of times and so I knew what he was talking about when I was like, 2014 Forest Hills Drive, I said, hold on. I said, I know what that be. And you know, um, it was just special because I felt like it was closer to home or because wherever my family is, I feel is home. Like I love seeing and visiting my family. So, um, and this album also was the first time, I went to go see him on tour with Big Sean and I believe it was YG and Jeremiah or whatever. Um, I saw him on tour locally and that was like my first big concert and that was so special to me because to see my favorite rapper with the favorite my favorite project of his still to this day to come out and to just experience that was so amazing um and I also just love the rawness of it, especially in like love like I just love it all I love the storytelling in it um and I think that's what's really special about it to me so I'm so happy especially the fact that it's homage to 
um, Fayetteville, North Carolina, which I have such a great love for in so many different ways. In North Carolina in general, I love North Carolina. So the fact that like, you know, that was a thing, I was like, this is for me. And I, I was able to receive the vinyl. So I'm so grateful. I just, I love it. I, I love how music can kind of take you back into places to where like either that time or that place, for example, where this was his old address, you know, the cover is literally him sitting on the roof of his old place. You feel me? So it's like to take me back to like when I would go and visit and stuff like that. Like I'm just very, I don't know. I just love it. I love him as an artist, very raw, authentic, and just real and no BS. That's what I love about him, you know? Um, and I appreciate him as an artist. I, sh I can say, I, I, I genuinely appreciate his artistry. Um, but that are, that is the vinyls that I have right now and the CDs. I'm working on expanding. I actually did get the Kehlani while we wait. Should I show y'all? I'm gonna show y'all. I still have not put her up. As you can see, I have a poster of Ariana Grande. But I have not put her up yet because I don't know where to put her and I'm just, I'm scared. This is my favorite Kehlani project. Oh my God, last year, this was all I was vibing to the entire year. Amazing. Footsteps with Music Soul Child. My favorite is probably Love Language. Love Language is such a beautiful song and I love Kehlani as an artist. She's one of my current favorites and has been since Sweet Sexy Savage. Um, but this right here is a masterpiece. Like this is my favorite project by her. Oh, this was just such a great project. Still is, I think, her best project and I can listen to it straight through and it makes me so happy. Um, and it was just so creative and I just loved how like she was able to give us what nine songs and i think it was just so beautiful and um yeah and i think the vinyl itself is so pretty i think it's tan yeah, oh my god i think it's tan the vinyl itself but i haven't opened it i can do it on opening but i don't want to open it i don't know it's just so sacred to me i'm like i don't want to open it like i love it but yeah um that is it for my vinyl collection right now as it expands of course i'll always do videos on them because music is something that i love that's why i do reaction videos because i love music like i love it um and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel for more and i will see you guys in the next one don't forget to turn on the post notification bells i'm posting every day because of vlogmas you feel me we get up there but thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one bye Take it to you